Welcome back everybody to Boats vs. Hallover, where main and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida. I'm your host Broncos Guru in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru production back at the inlet, and it's a little bit of a rough day. We're rolling a 15 mile an hour wind out of the northeast, an outgoing tide, and it's definitely going to be a struggle for our captains today, but let's see how they fare as they step in the ring and do battle with Hallover Inlet. Our first captain to come in the ring and do battle with Hallover is going to show you what it's like when you're playing the game. That's right, some people come out here just to play the game with Hallover, and this crew is one of those exceptions because we saw them come through the inlet multiple times on this day. It's a rough day, and <laughs> these guys are out there having fun. My man's got the boat just about the right pace for the size of this vessel though. He's just barely up on plane, got the bow trimmed up a little bit to make sure they don't stuff the bow, got wifey hanging on beside him, and this crew right here doesn't look that bad as they come through the inlet. This is a smaller boat, and it's really doing a pretty good job on dealing with haulover in what is a pretty rough day. And I have no choice but to give these guys the win here in the first round for the boats. But they're not the only one competing right here. You're going to see Fresco Channel come rolling up right beside him, who's another known Miami YouTuber who likes to go out there and hang out on his hydro sport, run haul over on occasion, and hang out at the sandbars. Our second contestant is going to show you what it's like when you come running through haul over, but you decide you're not going to play in the game. Some days it just sounds like fun. Hey, let's go out. We'll have a good time running haul over. Everybody will get a little wet and we'll have some laughs, but it doesn't always turn into laughs. Sometimes people enter the inlet and realize it is not what they expected by any stretch of the means. Kind of like this crew has done right here. And they've quickly decided before they get anywhere near the mouth of the inlet, they need to go ahead and pull one of those infamous haul over U-turns. Now, of course, as usual, this is easier said than done. This crew does pull it off, but it can be a difficult task, especially when haul is running the way it's running today. But these guys get that U-turn off, they're going to head back to the sandbar, and they're also going to take with them a loss for the boats in the second round. And that's going to take us to our third round, where we're going to show that some people like to play hard, kind of like this crew right here. They're coming to make their way out of haul over inlet. They've got this boat up a little faster than planning speed, and they're really going to let the boat do the work on this one. They're going to absolutely slice their way through haulover on what is a really rough day. But I'll tell you what, this CV makes easy work of haulover, making it look almost like an effortless task. And we'll take a win for the boats here in the third round. But our fourth round contestant is going to show you what it's like when the same thing happens. When you come through playing hard, but sometimes you play a little too hard. Here we're going to see this intrepid making its way through haulover inlet. And this crew looks like they're going to send it. They've got the throttles pinned, and they are absolutely letting this boat fly and make its way out of the inlet. And they look pretty solid. Should take an easy win for the boats here. This crew's rolling out and doesn't have a care in the world, but one thing's for sure, you can never let your guard down against Hallover. She's always going to find a way to try and beat you. Just like right here, this crew thought they had a win. Hallover throws a haymaker at the end, knocks our girl down, and will take a win for the inlet. And with that, Hallover will tie it back up at two apiece as we head into our fifth and final round. Who will take the win in this episode? Will it be Hallover, Inlet, or the Boats? And some people just don't like to play fair or play by the rules when they come through Hallover. Kind of like this crew right here. I really have no clue what to think of this. They've obviously got a camera on the boat, so they are some type of social media influencer out here trying to have a little fun at Hallover. And this is not our traditional boat, so this isn't necessarily playing by the rules, but we do have some rules to this game, and these guys are still going to have to follow by them. Here we're going to see they're making their way out of the inlet. They look excited, but man, it's a big day at Hallover to be taking this kind of contraption through the inlet. And they've already caused some issues because we only have a few rules here on Boats versus Hallover, and they've stuffed the bow of this thing. And that's one that gives you an automatic loss, but I'd have to give these guys a loss anyway. This is a pretty dangerous setup, especially to be rolling out here not wearing any life jackets. If you're going to do some silly stunts, that's one thing. I think it's hilarious, but do it safely. At least come out, don some life vests so you can reduce the risk of injury to yourself and others. Many people forget this. If these guys go overboard and can't grab a life vest that's sitting here on this thing, then all of a sudden we're going to have public service personnel, first responders out here looking for these guys, trying to save their lives, but also risking theirs at the same time, which is another reason why I have to give this round a haul over, and that's going to give haul over the win in this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Haul Over. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And of course, we've got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens at the boat ramps around South Florida. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.